offer a scripture reflection for the feast of the baptism of the Lord, which we celebrate on the 10th of January, Mark's Gospel, chapter 1. You are my beloved son, with you I am well pleased. It is important for us to hear the words that affirm us, not empty compliments, but heartfelt words of love and appreciation. Such words can help us know that the person speaking to us respects and honours us. Affirmations like these can improve our relationships and solidify our commitment to each other. And it's interesting then that one of the few times that we hear the voice of God in the scriptures directly, not through a prophet or a vision, comes in today's gospel from Mark chapter 1. God the Father says to Jesus, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. Right there in front of John and his disciples, God reveals Jesus' identity and his fatherly love for his Son. We all need affirmation like that too, every day. And it's available to us when we pray and worship God. As we acknowledge who he is, we also acknowledge who we are in relation to him. We begin to understand that we are his beloved children. The people in our lives need it as well, and some of them need to hear it from us. It's not about saying something just to make one feel good. It's being alert to opportunities, especially unexpected ones, to point out something that we appreciate about them, such as their patient response to caring for family members and unkind siblings, their generosity and kindness in reaching out to the community and those in need, appreciation for their service to the parish during this time of strict protocol and keeping in contact with those in isolation. And so one could go on. Listening to his gospel, Mark reminds us that we are not on our own. He relates how John the Baptist promised that Jesus would baptize us with the Spirit. Baptism inaugurated Jesus' mission, and Mark was reminding the early Christians, as he does to us today, that through our baptism, we too are sent on a mission. Pandemic lockdown aside, we're not baptised into a stay-at-home community to only enjoy our limited gatherings, sing our hymns and say our private prayers. That's our challenge. Through our baptism, each one of us has been called to serve others in Christ's name. And so we need to ask ourselves at this feast, am I aware that baptism means more than membership in a church? And what mission has the Holy Spirit given me as a baptized Christian? Amen.